Syracuse's mayor, Ben Walsh, delivering his second State of the City address. And he's got a lot of goals he wants to achieve in the new year. News Channel 9's Nicole Semavilla shows us what he has planned. In his second year as mayor, Ben Walsh says he believes the city is stronger than it's been before, and that's thanks to the hard work and dedication of city employers, volunteers, and community members. But he says there are still challenges the city faces, and with these strategies in mind, he thinks those can be tackled. It's a vision for Syracuse neighborhoods and the surrounding region, one of growth and prosperity. It is an imperative for the survival and sustainability of our city. The Syracuse surge is about growing the city parallel to what's around us, and it starts with the streetlight project. More than 17,000 lights that will alert the city themselves when they go out. In partnership with Governor Cuomo and the New York Power Authority, we have selected SimCon lighting along with Presidio and Cisco to implement the streetlight project and also to make Syracuse the flagship smart city in New York State. The next step, the South Side campus for the new economy, an art school in the southeast part of town. It tends to restore the neighborhood to a place of hope and optimism that was the hallmark of the old 15th Ward. Other topics on the mayor's agenda, approval of the sales tax agreement and maintaining fiscal sustainability, but achieving that while also tending to community concerns about snow removal. In this case, adding a GPS system to track the plows. They were able to accurately check where plows had been and deploy crews more efficiently. Walsh also said the increase in violence is on their radar. He said that is hard to curb, but Chief Buckner has increased patrols. He's also working on a public information system to better communicate with the public. At the Red House, Nicole Samavilla, News Channel 9. Mayor Walsh also talked about large-scale projects in the works and a sink bicycle. So when all the snow is behind us, we can look forward to renting one of the 200 bikes that will fill the city in April.